You know, I've been talking about we got this kind of little deal of all these silver eagles, and there's been some just some incredible little hidden gems in it. Unfortunately, there's not that many of them. So you've got to act quickly. You've really got to jump on the phone, particularly on this one kind of right now. This is a crazy hidden little gem. In, in the history of the American Silver Eagles, I mean, look, it was pretty much, it was what it was from about 1986 to 2008. <clears throat> the United States government to make seven, eight, nine million eagles, uh, silver eagles every year. They made a proof coin. They made a mint state coin starting in 2006. They made a burnished coin. So 2006, seven, and eight, they burnished coins. And then everything went crazy. There was the great re kind of recession of 2008, and all of a sudden demand, particularly for silver eagles. People are like, okay, ne never again. We're taking care of business. We're getting silver, and particularly silver eagles. Silver eagle demand exploded. So in 2008, all of a sudden it went from, you know, 8 million silver eagles to 35 million silver eagles, and then 30 million silver eagles, and then 40 million silver eagles. And they were just firing these silver eagles out of there. Well, <clears throat> there was only so much silver around. And there was a lot, in essence, in reserve to make these planches. But by 2017, you started having significant issues for planches. And in 2017, you see kind of these mintages kind of drop off a cliff. It wasn't because of demand. It was because they couldn't get enough silver. And so it became an issue, particularly at the West Point Mint. So in 2017, the United States government had kind of made a, a, this part and parcel of what they were doing. They had... Uh, um, the Philadelphia Mint and San Francisco Mint help out every now and then, kind of 2016, 2017. But 2017 Philadelphia Mint was an interesting coin. Only a million of those uh, uh, were done. But the thing is, is we didn't find out about these until kind of later. And so because of that, many of these boxes, now remember, the United States Mint does not sell mint state coins directly to the United States public. Additionally, these do not have mint marks on them. You have to have original sealed boxes. And you have to have those sealed boxes, and then you have to have the correct box numbers. You send them into the grading company, and they will grade them as coming from the Philadelphia Mint. Well, a lot of these Philadelphia Mint boxes got opened without being certified. And not only that, a lot of the early boxes got opened without being certified. So not only do we have a 2017 P, which is an incredibly rare coin, I mean, one of the top 10 rarities in the Mint State Silver Eagle series, but you have a coin that's very difficult to get in Mint State 70. It's not only difficult to get in Mint State 70, in Mint State 70, first day of issue, because that means it was one of the very first coins to the graders uh, right there. It has to be, I think, within 30 days uh, to the graders to, to qualify for first day of issue. This becomes a significantly, significantly rare coin in PCGS perfect uh, first day of issue. Now add in, this is in the green ring, okay? Some of these were done in those period, and that signifies the green box, these green monster boxes that the United States Mint, that these coins come in. That's why you oftentimes see like green coins you see green, uh, 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 you know, see the green rings for PCGS uh, that, that you're going to have. And I'm going to put, just put this behind. So this is what one of those green monster boxes look like. Now you can see the green. But here's the thing. So this is an incredibly rare under the radar coin. So much so, I went out there and found this exact coin in the secondary market right here, right now. You read that right. $1,000. One thousand dollars is my price compare for this and it's the only one i could find the only other one i've seen in the marketplace today is one thousand well sorry nine hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents i'm going to round up to a thousand a thousand dollars exactly the same coin i have here exactly the same coin i have here for 149 dollars and 95 cents i found these coins other coins in first day of issue NGC, I couldn't find any other PCGS. NGC is like 250 or 300, but they are not, they are not green ring PCGS. That is a thousand dollar coin. I've got six dozen, no, five and a half dozen of these at $149.95. Like I said, I'd love to do a full presentation, but it's a quick call. It is a significant coin. It's a rare coin. And the value, go ahead and save 850 bucks, folks. But you got to call in now. Like I said, we got less than six dozen in-house. This is a fantastic coin to put in your collection today.